of Metcalf Roger, who lived with his parents. He was the biggest troublemaker on the street. He thought he was far too cool for school and never listened to his mother and father. Roger, can you do this? No. Hey, Peggy! I haven't seen you to see yet. Can you clean the floor, do your room, and do the windows? No. I don't know. 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 Never mind, you're cool. It's not cool, mate. You're doing the job first week on your, on your Xbox. Okay? Then you can go on the Xbox. One day. One, one day, his mother and father asked Roger to go and drop off some cookies to their elderly and frail grandmother. Roger, can you go to your grandma so you can drop your cookies off? No, that's boring. It's not boring, you get a chance yeah, to Yeah, I'll just do it. Just do it for me, please. I'm not being mean. Please, mm. just do it for me. Just do it right now. It's not funny and you're not clever. Just do as you're told. Right now. Please, right now. Get your buttons and go. Go. Be careful out there, okay? Okay. Brilliant. Red Cap did not want to go. He wanted to stay at home and was sick of his mother and father. Always nagging him to two, to two boring chores. Roger, you must go. Grandma's waiting for you. Just go. Just go, go on. Right now. Be careful. You can go on the first bars, go on the first bars, go on the third wolf. Uh, a bed. A bed. Uh, uh, where are you? Uh, uh, um, Here you are. Uh, um, I'm not. Uh, I'm sick. <laughs> and off Roger went to take cookies to his grandmother. He heard his brother's warning and entered the forest. It was the quickest way. And Roger wasn't frightened of any wolf. It was cold and dark and strange. Voices and animals could be heard. Into her bed. 
to wait for one check. Four hours later, Walter arrived. He knocked at the door. Is that you, Walter? Please come in. Walter pushed the open, creaky door. <laughs> see his grandmother locked up in bed. Oh, she looked different. Her eyes are hard. All the better to see you with my dear. <laughs> All the better to hear you with. <laughs> All the better to blow it with my dear. <laughs> All the better to eat you with dear. Yeah. And the wolf jumped out of bed and ate Roger in one big gulp and, and went for a nap. Roger's mother and father had great suspicions of if Roger had taken the father's path to grandmother's house and, and had decided to head over. I don't know what to do, what do you think? I don't know where they found the pathway or the father's way. We've got to find them. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> when they got there, the door was wide open. They sneaked in to see the wolf fast asleep. Good could see his very movements as if something was still inside. They could also oh. make cries for help. Help! Help! They grabbed an axe. From outside and could open the wolf to free grandmother and Roger. They, 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 they then sewed the wolf back up. The wolf woke up from a jump and saw what, what had